Hey everyone, welcome to the Selfie Men on YouTube. At the beginning of the summer, the staff and I got to go down to the Philadelphia Trans Health Conference. We met so many amazing people there, we wanted to capture them like Pokemon and bring them home somehow. Sadly, those Pokeballs are a lot smaller than you'd think, and there were some issues with parental consent and places of employment, so we settled for getting a little video interview with them instead. Take a look. Uh, hi, I'm Jaden. I'm Mika. And I'm Wendy. And I'm the creator of Blix, and these are two of our members. And our website is currently an all-inclusive trans resource website, and we provide resources for everybody underneath the trans umbrella. We offer services for everyone across the country, not just Philadelphia based. We have everything from doctor searches to endocrinologists and gender therapists as well as LGBT youth homeless shelters. And don't forget the dating. Yes. That's really yes. important. Yes, we also have a dating section. We have dating tips. Um, we list all dating websites. We also have a mentor program. Uh, it sets you up with a peer-on-peer -peer, uh, mentor. And, um, Blah, 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 blah. Hey, I'm Brian. I'm one half of Legalize Trans, and uh, it started out as a way to help my friend Asher raise money for his top surgery, and then expanded to also include an affiliate program so um, other folks can sell the shirts uh, and make money for hormones or surgery or just sort of basic living expenses because uh, we know life is expensive, and so uh, we're trying to be part of that solution. So check us out online, legalizetrans.com. Blitz and the Subman Men will be holding a donational battle toward the end of the year, where we use our friendly competition toward seeing who can raise the most money to help an organization that gives to the less fortunate during the holiday season. Coming up, we've got the talented Ryan Casada, who had just given his keynote speech the day before, followed by Lawrence from Stand to Urimate, the STP shop at the conference. Hello, my name is Ryan Casada. I'm an 18 year old singer songwriter and transgender activist. I just did the keynote speech yesterday at the Philadelphia Trans Health Conference, and it went really well. I released a new record called The Rhythm, and I recorded it at a professional studio in New York called The Music Palace, and a lot of the songs on it are love songs, songs about equality, anti-bullying, standing up against suicide, things like that. Definitely cool record, it's on iTunes. We also have an autographed copy that Ryan was nice enough to donate to us. We'll be putting together a raffle, including it sometime later this year. My name is Lawrence Richardson, the CEO of Stand to Urimate, and my website, www.urimate.com, has all the products that we sell. We have Stand to Pee devices, packing underwear, packing devices, and we also have devices for children, uh, trans girls, as well as trans boys. We sell packing underwear, as well as little Parker packing underwear for little boys that have the prosthetics sewn in. If you have any questions about the information that we have, we do have videos online. We also we also do uh, online conferencing and Skype instructional videos as well. Earmates.com is the website that has all the products, everything from binders to packers and underwear, FTM supplies as well as supplies for children. Thank you so much. We got to meet a lot of really cool people from the community, and I have to admit that I might have fanboyed out a little for the next couple clips. Hi, I'm Rocco. Hi, I'm Venus. Together we make a magazine. <laughs> I was trying to finish this. Perfect. Yeah. Well, my name is Ryan Salins, and I am a transgender activist, uh, public speaker, and author. Uh, my newly released memoir, Second Son, Transitioning Towards My Destiny 11 Life. I'm here at the Philadelphia Conference at a vendor booth, uh, offering this for people to, well, offering it, asking them to, to buy a copy and read it and see what they think. So far, I've been getting wonderful reviews. Uh, people say they pick it up and they can't put it down. So I see that as a good thing. Um, one of my favorite things to do is actually come to these conferences because so much of my work is spent behind the computer being a voice of advocacy, so being out here and actually seeing faces makes me really excited. The Philadelphia Trans Conference was a three-day, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. workday for me and the rest of my staff. We're hoping that next year we'll be able to attend some of the lectures and perhaps even speak at one of our own. Let's touch base with Alexa and Rowan and then see how the rest of our tour went. Hi. Hi. Hi everyone. It's day three of the Philly Trans Conference. Oh. We're exhausted. Yes. We haven't gotten any sleep yeah. the last three nights. We've been working like like 12 to 14 hour days getting everyone around here all of our merchandise. I've said our like big mission statement spiel like 
uh, I don't know, like a thousand times. And I've said it once, but that's okay. I did it great. I'm really proud of myself. It was fabulous. Very nice. We've made a ton of really good connections. A lot of people have been like wanting us to come and speak yeah. at their schools and businesses. Uh, a guy from Palm Springs, California, wants us to come and talk to them, and we're like, Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Please take yeah. us there. Yeah. yeah. It's been really great. Yeah. So we've had really fun, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, there's a ton of cool people here. We've, there's been a ton of families which we're really excited about. Um, a lot of parents supporting their transgender children. So that's probably my favorite part. It's, really it's been fun. really awesome. There's been a lot. There's actually a lot of like really young kids here. Yeah. Like the kids who are going to be never going to have to go through long yeah. puberty, like 11 years old and already like on hormones, and it's going to be possible for them. It's really exciting to see the next generation. And I got to hold a dog. It was like this big. <laughs> There'll be pictures on the website. Don't you worry. Check it out. So, so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Melted my heart. But yeah, so it's been a really good run. We're kind of sad to leave. We yeah. actually like, I wish we could have stayed longer because then we would have actually been able to do a bunch of stuff. We didn't, we didn't do anything other than this <laughs> because by the time this was over, so we, we were too tired to go out and do any of the after parties. So we just hung out and went to bed. <laughs> This has been an incredible experience, so I'm really, really pumped that we got to do it, and it's going to be even better next year. Yes. I can't wait to be back. Yeah. So keep watching, and look for us on the next stop of the Boys of Summer Tour. <laughs>